Racing games are on every console, but not all of them are created equal. Hey, I am the Game Collector, and this is Second Opinion Games, and today I rank all of the official release Atari Jaguar racing games. Second Opinion Games. Number 7 Checkered Flag. Checkered Flag is one of those racing games you heard about and probably absolutely hate. It has rubber banding AI, and I could rarely make it even a single lap around any of the courses without flipping. It does have a lot of options in the game, so you could set different weather in your airfoils, even different tires, and the different colors of your car. However, that's the best thing I could say about the game. The controls are absolutely horrible, and the graphics are probably even worse. This is by far the worst racing game on the Jaguar, and unless it's given to you as a gift, I probably wouldn't get it myself. Number 6, Supercross 3D. Supercross 3D is the Atari Jaguar's premier dirt bike racing game. You'll be going at pretty fast speeds, making hairpin corners, and even fixing up your bike just the way you like it with hard tires and a low gear ratio, or whatever it is you prefer. The downside is the frame rate. It is so horrible that it is very hard to play this game. For the very few people that do happen to look past this bad frame rate, you'll find a rather enjoyable and rather complex racing experience. If you could get this game on the cheap, I recommend giving it a try. You just might like it. Number 5. Club Drive I can't even talk about this game without getting a huge smile on my face. It's basically one big joke. Even when I try to kill myself by jumping into a fireplace, all of a sudden I'm warped to a weird castle. I swear there is so many hidden things in this game, it's unbelievable. The downside is, as a racing game, it's absolutely horrible. The two player mode is split screen and completely unplayable. Well, at least you could do it both at the same time, which is a plus, but the game is just bad. I mean, look at it. It is boxy polygons at its worst. And you even have to go into the options screen to change a mode to fast in order to break 65 miles an hour. Overall, this game is great as a joke, but horrible as a racing game. Number 4. Valdez Skiing and Snowboarding Now I understand, skiing and snowboardings are sports, but this game at its heart is basically just a big time trial. You'll be racing downhill in, in this awesome Atari Jaguar Super Scaler and reaching massive speeds. Sometimes you'll have slalom events where you have to weave your way in and out of flags and also you could just be going downhill at super fast speeds. Yeah. It really doesn't matter whether you're picking the skiing or the snowboarding aspect of it. Either way, you're yeah. going to have a blast for a weekend rental style game. If you want to play it every single day for weeks on end, chances are you're not going to have a good time here. This is more about an arcade time trial experience, and it is incredibly good at that. Add into it an overzealous announcer, and you have yourself one pretty good Atari Jaguar game. Number 3, Power Drive Rally. Suit up with you and a navigator as you race around off-road tracks as fast as possible, sometimes against a computer and sometimes just a time trial. There's even a skills test thrown in there just to make you frustratingly mad. But if you can clear that, this is a great game. You have to manage your cars, money, repairs, and then the racing, which is spot on. If you like games like rock and roll racing, then this is right up your alley. However, it can be very expensive, and the instruction manual talks about a two-player mode that no one can seem to figure out how to activate. Overall, this is absolutely one of the best games on the Jaguar, and 
if you are happen to be into racing games, then I definitely recommend getting it before the price goes up any farther. Number 2. Atari Cards This game is definitely Atari's answer to Mario Kart. And as far as kart racing goes, this is definitely one of the better ones. Heck, I'll take any game where I could spend a little bit more time with Bentley Bear. You'll probably have to memorize the tracks inside and out, trying to figure out where the power-ups are that you don't want and where the ones are that you do. You'll even have to square off against really hard boss battles, but eventually you'll even unlock more characters and have more exciting gameplay. It is one or two player split screen, and overall you'll be moving very, very fast, hugging every corner. It does have pro controller support, where you could even do a little bunny hop and slide around each corner, but who could afford one of those anymore? On top of it, this game can be extremely pricey being a very late release. Overall, this is one of the best kart games I've ever played, and certainly a great racing game to add to your collection. Number 1. Super Burnout Super Burnout is a super scaler where you'll be driving at super high speeds. You'll also take very tight corners and try and pass your way all the way to the finish line in first place. This game is incredibly good. The graphics are some of the best that the entire Atari Jaguar lineup has to offer and the sound is even better. The music is absolutely great. Your bike makes a nice engine hum, however, there is no brake sound effects or any screeching tires at all. It is also split screen multiplayer, so you and a friend can have an epic showdown. However, the bottom screen does have a little bit more real estate than the top, meaning whoever's not as good, give them the bottom screen, give them the slight advantage. But don't worry, I'll still win anyway. Overall. This is the racing game to get. It is cheaper than Atari Karts and Power Drive Rally, so it's much more affordable and you'll be having a terrific time. Now you just have to find yourself a friend to play with and you will have one of the best Atari Jaguar games, period, let alone the best Atari racing game. It's a record! So, did you like this list? Well, feel free to leave a comment below. Also, I did a full review of every single one of these games on my channel already. I know the Jag CD has a racing it's game a of its own, and I'll probably get to that in time. Probably a bit after I get through the rest of all the official Atari Jaguar games that I'm working on right now. So, don't be afraid to sound off and Really let me know what you think about the Atari Jaguar's racing lineup. Overall, I think it was pretty strong and a lot better than what the Genesis was pushing out at the very least. So, thanks again guys.